Hey everyone, it's Cece here and in today's video I'm going to show you three really simple ways that you can attach a string to your work to hang up your wall hangings. Now the first way I'm going to show you to connect your string to your dowel to hang up your wall hanging is with what we call a constrictor knot. Now what you'll need is a long piece of string and I find that usually about two times the length of your dowel or maybe a little bit extra is more than enough. So to create your constrictor knot what you need to do is first flip your wall hanging so you're facing the back side of the piece. Then you grab your end and place it over the top of the dowel like so. And we're going to grab this little end and first wrap it around the dowel to the left of the long side of the string. Then we come back around and then again loop it behind the dowel but we want to go to the right side of the string. And then we're going to grab this little loop here which is creating an X across our work. And we're tucking this end into the loop like so. And you just pull on that nice and tight and that's a constrictor knot. Now it may not look like much, but if you pull this really, really tight, this knot is actually super secure. Let me show you again on the other side. So we take our rope and grab the other end and then laying it across the dowel, taking this end first under the dowel to the left of the longer piece of string and around, and then under the dowel to the right of that piece of string, and then grabbing this little loop here and sticking my end through that loop and pulling on it nice and tight, like so. Now I have a lot of string left over here and I definitely don't want it to be that long. So what you can do with this knot is just loosen it up a little bit. Pull your end through and then pull on this end. To make this part of the string shorter. I'll do the same on the other side. Just loosening up my knot, pulling this end through, and then pulling on that end until it's nice and tight. That's much better. Now we just flip this around and make sure the strings are where we want them to be on the dowel. And now our wall hanging is ready to hang. The other thing I love to do with my wall hanging when I finished attaching my hanging rope is add some little beads to either side here. You can just cut them really short so you can't see them at all, but I think it's a really nice extra to add those little beads on either side. I just tie the bead on using a simple overhand knot. And then trimming my ends. There it is. So the second way that you can hang up your wall hanging will have a very similar finish to the first way that I showed you. However, we're going to use a different knot to attach the string to our dowel. So again, you're just going to need a long piece of string and usually two times the length of your dowel is a good place to start. And then we're going to create a slip knot. So to create a slip knot, just find your first end and then we're going to create a loop with this end 
like so. Now I have the short piece of string at the back and the long piece of string at the front. Now I'm just going to place my fingers through the loop and then pull that longer end through that loop and pull on my short end and the loop at the same time so that little knot there gets nice and tight. And that is a finished slip knot. Now, if you do want to watch that again, I also have a tutorial available online. So that will be available. I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, the beautiful thing about a slip knot is that you can pull on the longer end and readjust the size of this loop. So depending on how big your dowel or stick is, you can actually make this as wide or as small as you need. So now we just take this slip knot and place it over the first side of our dowel and pull on the longer side so it's nice and tight. What I like to do just to finish it off and make sure it's secure is create a half hitch knot using that short end around the longer end and pulling it nice and tight. Now we can just trim this side and move on to the other side. So again, we've got our shorter side and we're going to loop that around. So we've got the short side at the back and the long side coming around to the front. And then putting our fingers through the loop, grabbing the longer side and pulling it through like so. Now I'll just attach this to my other side. Pull on this nice and tight. And again, using my short end to create a half hitch knot around my long end. And there is the finished result. The benefits of this way is that you can readjust your loops to fit any size dowel or stick. So the last option is to hang our dowel or stick in the middle using a short piece of string. And we're going to attach that using a lark's head knot. So what I have here is just a short piece of string and I'm going to fold this in half like so. Now we also want to turn our wool hanging so we're at the back side of the hanging. And then you're just going to take that loop and put it through the center part of your hanging, like so. And then bring your ends of that short piece of string up through that loop and pull it so it's nice and tight. Now you really want to make sure here that the piece of string you're attaching is right in the center of your dowel. Otherwise, the hanging won't hang straight. So to finish this, we're just going to take these two ends and tie them in a basic overhand knot. Now you can trim these little ends here just so they're neater. And then if we turn our hanging around, you'll have a really cute little piece of string to hang it up from the center. So there you go guys, that's three different ways that you can use to hang up your wall hangings. My favorite is definitely the first one at using the constrictor knot. And I always love to add these cute little beads at the end as well. So now this baby is ready to hang up. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and here's to finding our peace and creativity.